globalization globalization means the free movement and give and take of information technology capital people market and commodities between countries it has led to an integration of the economies and markets of various countries after 1990 the pace of globalization increased there was a greater contact between people living beyond the borders of the countries in different parts of the world the give and take of ideas also increased it became possible to take along the flow of capital skilled unskilled labor anywhere in the world production of goods wherever convenient and cheap manpower wherever available and selling the goods in any market in the world this kind of a change has been ushered in by globalization though the main context of globalization is economic yet it has different aspects like the political cultural educational etc globalization has also led to changes in the economic and foreign policies of all countries c globalization trade and industry grew tremendously in europe due to industrial revolution european colonialism and imperialism emerged to control the markets of asia and africa later the complex issue of neo imperialism resulted into two world wars in europe europeans adopted policy of decolonization in the later half of the 20th century and european powers were forced to free their colonies though europeans accepted peaceful and humanitarian principle of live and let to live the greed of trade of the rich capitalist and developed nations was still there they felt the need to have new ways of trade and commerce it resulted in establishment of an organization of rich nations as g7 developed european nations were part of it which expanded gradually without having any colony in the world an uncontrolled trade began this new policy is known as globalization g7 countries came to the light in 1975 they were first france second west germany third italy fourth japan fifth england sixth america seventh canada meaning and definition need of freedom of trade with other nations beyond the borders of a nation for this the world should become a market raw material can be obtained from any nation and finished goods can be sold in any nation an international trade movement began in europe which changed international politics to create unicentric economic system in the world to enhance industrialization through more investment and to create conducive conditions for import and export is called as globalization the meaning of globalization is clear through following definitions first globalization means expansion of financial matters beyond the geographical borders of nations this was said by dr deepak nair second globalization means to create a single market of all nations and to create a smooth circulation of resources and capital of the world this was said by shravan kumar singh third when world is improving its economic condition has affected the world that is called world economy this was said by malcolm adishya thus we can say that globalization is to create world economy nature globalization began during 
to 1914. It gained momentum after the Second World War. In 1944, World Bank and International Monetary Fund were established. World Bank provided foreign currency. Every nation became part of global market by abolishing restrictions on foreign trade. It was supported by liberalization. After 1990, the rules were made easy and restrictions about financial matters were reverted. To implement liberalization, privatization is necessary. So, banking, transportation, electricity, etc. fields were privatized. Due to privatization, profit increased, while public sectors lagged behind. Now, as a result of computerization, the world has come closer and has become a global market. Globalization is associated with economy, but it is also transforming drastically the social, political, educational and cultural fields. In 1991, India globalized its economy. Today, India is experiencing nature of globalization. Advantages of Globalization Many nations in the world have decided to carry financial business with mutual cooperation. They have attained economic unity while they are dependent on each other. Public life is associated with property, service, capital, information and technology beyond the borders of states. It had certain positive effects on human life. First, open trade increased among nations. Second, opportunity to invest on vast scale in foreign countries. Third, media brought the world closer and kept it together. Fourth, exchange of knowledge, information and culture at international level. Fifth, environmental awareness increased and standard of living improved. Sixth, potential of production and services increased due to the use of technology. Seventh, consumers got opportunities of selection and choice of quality goods. Eighth, mutual understanding among nations increased and world became a better market. Ninth, irregularities in agricultural products ended. Disadvantages of Globalization Though there are many advantages of globalization, there are certain disadvantages with respect to sovereignty of a nation. First, benefit of globalization is for few industrialists. Common man faces inflation. Second, globalization, liberalization and privatization may lead to unemployment. Third, Abolition of import tax has reduced national income. Fourth, multinational companies are using natural resources of poor nations indiscriminately. Fifth, due to uncontrolled competition, local small-scale industries are suffering a loss. Sixth, inequality such as rich nation and poor nation is created in the world. Seventh, Degeneration of Basic Values Clutches of Globalization Developed nations required markets for their products, which is not possible in controlled economy, so they advocated globalization. Some nations were underdeveloped with respect to capital, technology and management, while nations like India were developing. These nations had burden of huge debts, almost on the verge of economic slavery. Such nations thought that globalization is a path of development, so they accepted it. The number of such nations is large, but it has a great pressure of developed countries. The underdeveloped and developing countries are now in the clutches of obstructive policies of developed countries where freedom from is difficult.
Fifth, use of information technology. Globalization gained momentum due to development of information technology. Communication has become easy due to satellite. Internet has reduced geographical distance. World has become a global village. In short, the nature of process of globalization is open trade, competitive atmosphere, market oriented, currency rate, cancellation of permit system in agriculture and industry, privatization of public sector and free flow of capital within the country. Political corruption. Globalization led to race among political leaders to keep political power in their hands. Political power is useful to gain financial benefit is a fact. So, businessmen and people have criminal tendencies entered into politics, which led to criminalization of politics. Principle of public welfare is replaced by corrupt practices. So, politics is becoming root cause of corruption and deterioration of moral ethical values. Nature and scope of globalization is quite huge. Many aspects of human life are attached to globalization. We should also take care in the age of globalization. Instead of using foreign goods, we should learn the advanced foreign technology for the benefit of our country. We should increase maximum usage of indigenous goods. Open policy should be used for our creativity and innovative thinking, so that we can keep our country in a developed status. Political impact of globalization. Spread of globalization needs influential political system along with economic condition. As economic system is associated with political system, so study of political influence in the process of globalization is important. Influence of democratic system, communism, socialism were replaced by democracy. In democracy, individual liberty is preferred. Democracy is inspirational for the overall development of an individual. Besides, individual liberty, open economy is inevitable in democracy. And open economy is supportive to globalization. Influence of communism, socialism reduced. After First World War, communist revolution took place in Soviet Russia. Classless policy emerged in Russia, which was quite successful. But the world faced Second World War, in which dictatorial rule of Germany and Italy came to an end. America advocated capitalism, while Soviet Russia called for international communist revolution. Due to inbuilt lacunas in communism and socialism, and especially after the death of Stalin, Soviet Russian power deteriorated. The obstacle of communism to capitalism ended. America remained the only superpower. America adopted policy of open economy. First, open economy. Globalization has made possible trade with any nation beyond borders. Multinational companies has been given easy entry in a nation. So, world has become a single market. Open economy has changed standard of living of the world. Second, new competitions. Globalization has created new competition. Use of new technology has added to increase in production. Sale of goods in the world market has become possible, which resulted in development of open competition. On the one side, there is an opportunity of trade, while on the other side, employment in the developed nations is decreasing. Financial inequality is increasing.
Third, investment opportunities. Globalization has provided varied opportunities to nations and traders for investments in any nation. Previously, there were restrictions on investments in foreign countries. But now flow of capital is increasing. Benefit of investment is possible now in any company. Fourth, development of cities. Globalization is a boon for developing nations. The growth rate of economy is 8%. New technology has added to the growth of cities, but villages are deprived of development. Still India has made commendable progress in agriculture. Once an importer of food grains, now a country exports food grains to 21 countries. Development rate of India has gone above 6%.